Hello and good morning and welcome to Soul Soup. I'm Dr. Jeanette Freeman here to dish up a little food for your soul and some warmth for your heart. This morning, as we dive into the power of intention and a few ideas from Dr. Wayne Dyer's book, The Power of Intention. And this show is directly tied into aligning with our intention to live a life on purpose. So it is my intention to live my life on purpose. So I'm gonna share a few ideas about really what is that, living a life on purpose. And then we'll do a meditative process in order to connect and align with the field of all intention and to align with a life of purpose. So no matter where you are on your journey of living with purpose, I know that you will be blessed by tuning in. So thank you so much. You know, um, a sense of purpose is at the very top of the pyramid for self-actualization by um, Abraham Maslow. A sense of purpose is something that um, us on the spiritual awakening path um, are pulled by. There's something deeper than the everyday life. There's something deeper that calls us for it ever unfolding sense of purpose and many times some of the questions I get asked and some of the questions that many people are asking as this burgeoning spiritual awakening is taking place what fulfilled people so much doesn't fulfill them anymore and it's like I just want to live with purpose I want to have a greater purpose I want to help people more I want to be about con contribution and that is an important part of our stage that is an important part of our evolution because the more we wake up and realize I'm not just by myself satisfying all of my own egoic needs I'm here as a part of the wholeness I'm part of this human this humanity what can I do so I'm going to encourage anybody that might be having that kind of question that we're a lot of times we get we can get trapped in thinking I've got to do it for making my living at it. And if we're not doing something purposeful, we can go around on the hamster wheel, like chasing after things. And what I invite us to look at more deeply is an innate sense of purpose as connecting to that field of intention. Well, in the book, Wayne Dyer talks about the field of intention being a, a field of vibration that includes creativity, that includes kindness, that includes love, the energy of beauty, expansion, abundance, and receptivity. That this field, we could call it God, we could call it spirit, we could call it source, emanates with all of these amazing qualities. And so what we want to do to, to actualize and to express life as a, in a greater sense of purpose is first of all to start thinking, how can I give away my life? How can I contribute and give away my life? Not thinking, what can I get? But how can I give away my life? How can I express this field of intention, these qualities in the field of intention, and give it away and serve. And that was the other quality that is a big indicator is when we shift from what can I do to make money to how may I serve? You can feel the difference in that. How can I make money versus how can I serve? How are the unique gifts and talents that are a part of my own authentic expression, how may they be used in service to humanity? How may they be used in service to humanity? And we find that the more we keep coming into alignment, keep coming into spiritual awakening, making the source first, making our spiritual path 
a priority to letting go, to releasing, to healing, to keep coming back to that presence, keep coming back to that, that knowing, that source, the I am nature. Because when we are aligning with that, with that I am nature, with that love and creativity and beauty, and we are here as an expression of that love. We are in service to this love. We are loving this presence and serving this presence and allowing the presence's gifts to move through us. Our life is on purpose. And the life begins to come to us providing opportunities, providing ways and providing means in order to express our life of purpose. So we can let go of any sort of needing to do, any sort of stress about it, any sort of egoic struggle with, I got to give, live my purpose to how can I show up as love? How can I show up as a musician? How can I show up as an artist? How can I show up as a mother? How can I show up as a grandmother? How can I show up as a salesperson? How can I show up as a barista? Whatever it is that we're doing, how can I show up wherever I am right now with the people that I'm with, with the job that I have, how can I show up with a sense of purpose and knowing that I am in alignment with my source and I'm allowing that source to move through me with those particular qualities from that are the field of intention or source that are creative that are kind that are loving that's beautiful expansive abundant and receptive so we're going to do a little bit of a process and dive right into this process. We did this in the class the other night and it was very empowering. So I'm going to invite you to go ahead and prepare yourself to settle in. That's right. To settle in for a little meditation. Hmm. And so let's simply connect to the breath. Feeling the ground underneath your feet, right where you are. We're gonna go online, that is, we're gonna hook into our center line, imagining this beautiful river of golden light coming in through the crown of your head, moving down through or in front of the spine, out the spine into the earth, into the center of the earth. Imagine this line as your very essence, your connection to your I am presence, your cord, your connector, your highway to the one. And allow your breathing to breathe up like you're connecting at the crown of your head on the in-breath and then falling down the line on the out-breath, bringing all awareness into the center of you. I on the in-breath and on the out-breath. I on the in-breath looking up and on the out-breath looking down. Gently pulling and continuing to pull all awareness into the center of you, right into that beautiful golden river of light. So aware of this beautiful river of golden light coming into the crown of the head. That's right. And then now just gazing upward at the crown of your head. Begin to see that golden river of light and allow your yearning to pull you upward. 
Allow your yearning for the love, yearning for the light to move you up, up above your head, following that golden river of light out of your body, out of the ceiling, moving up, up, up into that golden river, just moving above the body, moving above this, the world of events and cares of the world, moving higher and higher and higher, as if you could slip right into your mighty I am presence into that realm, into the higher realms. That's right. Just seeing yourself surrounded in that golden light into this source, into this field of all intention. As we just allow ourselves to experience the different qualities of the field all around us. And imagine that this field is creative, completely creative, that a thought is placed in the field and it creates it. And allow yourself to contemplate, I am creative. I am creative. I am creative. I am creative. It's completely enfolded in that golden light. I am creative. Truly the I am of you is all of this. And the more we associate and align with and identify with these qualities, the more it is embodied in our life. I am creative. And this field of intention this field of source is kind. It is kindness. The universe is a kindly universe. God is kind. We know when we are kind or we observe kindness, we feel lifted up. So just know I am kind. I am kind. I am kind, I am kind, I am kind, I am kindness. Kindness moves in me and through me. My heart is open and soft. I am kind. And this field is also love. Of course it is. The field of love, the presence of love. looking around at this beautiful golden light or white light or whatever color it's become for you, imagine that you are completely enfolded and surrounded in love and you're identified with that. I am love. 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 Identifying and aligning with that. I am love. That's right. Mm. Looking around and sensing the beauty of the light and sensing the beauty of this field. This field is beautiful. The presence is beauty. Everything it touches turns more beautiful and radiant. I am beauty. I am, I am beauty, I am beautiful. I see through the eyes of beauty. I see beauty, I am beauty. That's right. Breathing that in, allowing it to penetrate every part of you. I am beauty. Getting a sense all around you of the expansive nature of this universal presence. It is expansive. Infinity is expansive. There is no limitation. This field of intention, this field of presence, this field of source is continually, continually always expanding. It's calling us to always expand, always evolve, always the more ideas, the more of the presence 
I am expansive. I am expansive. I am expansive. I am expansive. Space, more and more space, more and more expansion, more and more, more and more expansion. I am expanded consciousness. I am expansion. Feeling a very expansion in your awareness of this field up in your body. Feel this expansiveness when you're above everything. That's right. And tap right into that same field of abundance. The field of abundance that this universe is completely abundant. It could not align with scarcity at all or the whole universe would implode. It is full. It is abundance. It is more than enough. All sufficiency is continuing abundance, continuing provision, continuing. I am abundance. I'm abundant love, I'm abundant creativity, I'm abundant kindness, I am abundant presence, I am abundance. Breathing that and feeling that I amness of abundance, getting to sense that this field is receptive. It's receptive. It's receptive to the thought that is placed upon it and it completely creates. It's receptive. There's no resistance at all in this field. It is receptive. It is not operating in fear and resistance. It is operating in receptivity and movement and abundance and expansion and kindness and love. And get a sense of all of these qualities in your very I amness in your I am nature. I am all of this. I am all of this. And begin to feel and align with the truth of your being. I am that. And then simply sit in the question, how might I give this away? How might I give me away? How might I serve from this place of fullness? So just sit with this question for a moment. How can I serve? How can these qualities move through me into my life and into the world? If you were so surrender to this presence, allowing it to just have its way with your life expression. What does it want? What do you want? How do you want to serve? How do you want to give? How do you want to show up? What do you love? What expresses and expands more abundance, love, kindness, creativity? How might you share who you are? Even just asking the questions starts to reveal the answers. How might I serve? How might I share? What service to others do I really love giving? What do I really love giving? these questions and just staying in that alignment and feeling all of these qualities, knowing that those qualities uniquely express through all of us in different ways. Letting go of all old beliefs, letting go of everything that you thought you had to do or needed to do or someone said you should do. What wants to be expressed? How does love show up? What does love want? What does kindness want? What does creativity want? That's right. 
So just bringing all of that in, knowing that the higher self of you, the I am presence is all of this. And through the power and the grace and the pre through the presence, our request, our command, our demand, our asking of the presence is responded to by the presence. So anything, any requests that you have in your own heart or mind about your own purpose and expressing your purpose, ask the presence. Ask the presence to do the thing. Ask the presence to guide you. Ask the presence to open doors. Ask the presence to support you. Ask the presence to reveal what it wants. And then love the presence doing the thing. Love the presence. Love the presence living its purposes fully through your life expression. Love the presence doing it. Trust the presence so you can just relax. That's right, and just floating down this line, floating in this life, becoming aware of your body, becoming aware of your form, becoming aware of really integration and bringing all of these qualities from your I am nature into this physical form. Knowing divine wisdom and genius and intelligence is operating through your body, through your mind, through your emotions, through your vision, aligning with that. And just simply declaring I am is the only power in the presence. I surrender my own little way and know that it is through the power of the presence that everything is done. I'm here in absolute alignment with the presence, knowing that the presence is living its perfect life in an amazing, fulfilling way that I live with absolute fulfillment and giving of my gifts and living on purpose. And it's so good. I just rest in this awareness, knowing that presence is doing the thing and how sweet it is. How grateful I am. And so it is. So thank you so much for joining us on Soul Soup. I'm Dr. Jeanette Freeman. I'm glad that you tuned in and listened to this podcast or watched this webinar. Please stay in touch. Go to get on my email list at www.janettefreeman.com j-a-n-e-t-t-e freeman.com and get stay connected receive some free meditations and stay connected to lots of resources i appreciate you so much and have a blessed day